we all know that sometimes the simplest things can be the most beautiful. So even though everyday jobs aren't usually seen as something wonderful to watch, it shouldn't really come as a surprise that some talented workers out there are truly mesmerizing at what they do. Here's a couple of satisfying videos of workers doing their job perfectly. Let's get it on! Here's a video of something you've never even thought of unless you do this for a living, which is also about to become your new favorite thing to watch. It's just sealing a crack in some asphalt. So simple and yet so mesmerizing. Why is it such a great thing to watch? I don't know. Nobody does. Stop asking questions and just be glad that the world has given you the gift of true relaxation. And then maybe watch it a few more times. It's got to be good for you. If there's one thing you can bet will relax you, it's watching spray foam insulation being put in a wall. This worker is probably the best job you can get in construction, working with that weird and wonderful substance. It's almost like the building site equivalent of a lava lamp because of the way it moves as it expands and puffs up when it hits the wall. This worker is a real professional. You can tell because he's not asking if he can go again. Some people love cleaning windows because it's so satisfying to see the results, but this is satisfying in a whole different way. It's just amazing to see anyone do something at a speed that normal people can't comprehend. I didn't know there were window washing competitions in the world, but now that I do, I think there aren't nearly enough of them. Going to one of these events should be on everyone's bucket list if the contestants are as good as this guy. It pays to be extra careful when you have a straight razor in your hand. Barbers must get pretty used to them though, because there are plenty of pros out there who really look like they're not scared at all of accidentally turning into a modern day Sweeney Todd. They shave customers like their hand has never slipped in their life. And just look at this technique, how fast he moves that blade. It's amazing to think that anyone can be experienced enough to be able to do that. I'm going to warn you up front, this is going to blow your mind. I can't really explain what happens here either, so the mystery will remain and there's nothing we can do about it. And no, it's not the bit where he fills the bag with air like a pro instead of blowing into the scrunched up end like it's a balloon, which is definitely what I would have done. No, it's the bit where he somehow turns a bag into a self-managing packaging machine. This man is a new level of professional. Everyone loves pizza, but no matter how many times you come face to face with one, you'll never be able to handle a pizza like this guy. He's the pizza master, and you just have to accept that. Never mind his amazing method for getting them out of their pans, although that's awesome too. I'm talking about his skills with pizza cutters. Ever struggled to cut a pizza with a roller cutter? <laughs> this guy laughs at you. He can do it with two hands and faster than your eyes can see. He's the master swordsman of our time. Some people have skills beyond our wildest imagination, and this woman is one of them. She's a dough wizard. She's making a Thai dessert with that super thin pancake type dough, but it's definitely not as easy as she's making it look. She has special secrets, or she casts a spell on that dough to get it to do exactly what she wants, when most of us wouldn't be able to handle it at all. Alright, maybe it's not magic, maybe it's just practice, but no amount of practice would help me do what she does. There are many ways to shave a cat, just as there are many ways to trim a hedge. It takes a pretty skilled gardener to make a perfectly straight hedge though. At least it used to until technology took over. Now this little machine cuts perfectly straight hedges while he goes for a ride. If I were a gardener, I would have this right at the top of my wish list. It makes your life easier, is so satisfying to watch, and you get to pretend you're manning an army tank. I always thought those complicated signs painted on the road were done with a stencil. And really, even though I have evidence showing something different right in front of my eyes, I still think I'm right. This guy's so good, he has to be an exception. There's no way there are so many people like him in the world that all those signs are done like this. He doesn't hesitate. He knows exactly where that roller needs to be and how to get it there. Amazing. When you do the same thing every day, you're eventually going to come up with new ways to do simple jobs more efficiently. Instead of using a spade or garden shears to edge these flower beds, this gardener just makes good use of his weed whacker. It's super fast and it creates perfect, smooth, manicured edges with minimal effort from him. Honestly, it even looks better than a spade. Why does anyone do this any other way? There are some things that are just so annoying to transport until you come up with a method like this guy. His gas cylinder transport method seems like the kind of thing someone's going to replicate in a machine design. It's just so efficient, it almost takes you a moment to work out what he's actually doing. I'm sure everyone who works with cylinders like this wants to copy him, but it can't be as easy as it looks and he's probably the only person on earth who can do it. 
you're going to want front row seats in your nearest bakery after seeing this. Oh, the things an experienced pastry chef can do with a piping bag. Anyone who's ever tried to pipe on a cake at home knows that this person must have a lot of experience, because frosting doesn't like going where you want it to go. Working with that speed and accuracy is almost impossible, but that's probably why it's so nice to watch, and it turns out so beautiful in the end. Who knew that watching someone working on a floor could be so satisfying? This is screed being leveled expertly by a contractor who clearly has a lot of experience. He knows exactly what to do to get that thin, concrete-like mix to go exactly where he wants it, and not touch anything he doesn't want covered in concrete. It's so smooth and elegant, almost like melted chocolate. Sure, I know that's probably an illusion. It won't feel that nice to touch, but we'll all be happier if we pretend. This is a very different kind of concrete from the smooth, liquid quality of the screed in the last video, and it's also satisfying to watch in a totally different way. It's so great to see that texture change from rough, chunky cement to a perfectly smooth surface. It's probably not nearly as easy as these workers make it look, but they work together so well that it comes out perfectly even the whole way across. Pastry chefs are known for working really accurately at amazing speeds, but still, just how fast can one person cut pastry for 500 croissants? Maybe in like 6 minutes if you're a pro, right? Nope, the answer is just a few seconds as this guy is demonstrating. Now that's how you can spot a true expert, by the fact that they still have all their fingers despite being able to move a knife that fast. And just look at the accuracy, they all end up exactly the same size. I would need a measuring tape to pull that off, but he can measure and cut each one in less than a second. Amazing! There are a select few very special workers in this world who can do their jobs with their eyes closed. In this case, I'm using that phrase in a more literal way than you're probably expecting. This woman works with a huge and probably very sharp knife cutting cardboard, but does she look where that knife's going? Nope, she knows exactly where that blade is, and exactly how far the cardboard has moved, obviously. I really don't know how she does it, but she's clearly really good. Was he the most fearless man on earth? He looks like he could be any one of us, but he's not. None of us would have the courage to do this, but in our defense, he clearly knows what he's doing, and we don't. So if we did it, it would be more like stupidity than courage. He works with that glass like it's as safe as jelly. Just flings it onto the table, cuts it, smashes the excess off, and flings it off the table again like he's not handling a danger circle. How long do you think it takes your finger to press the button on a camera? Less than a second? Well, they say that fashion is a fast-paced industry, but I never thought they meant it was as fast as this. This model is straight into his next pose by the time the photographer takes the next shot. It seems impossible when you think about how many parts of your body need to be in the right place for each photo, but he seems to have adapted to the speed of the equipment around him.